of coming uh, on the from the sides, not through the gate. So there you go. Again, the discipline that has to come into play. Philippines now will try and get this scrum. They'll try and really put some pressure. It comes up. Referee has re-scrum. Word with the front row, uh, Chang'a. Tough when that happens. Very tough. We got we got so many, we got we go on so many four minutes. Roughly about six minutes to go. And Sri Lanka 22, Philippines 19. Pressure on, Chang'a, pressure on. They're stepping the goal line. Yes, Sri Lanka really has to uh, protect this goal line. You spend months in practice trying to get this right. Pick and go from the line. The Philippines looking. Oh, is he over? Desperately short of the line, but referee says bring play back. He's seen penalty. Penalty collapsing the scrummage. That's what he says. Philippines take it quickly. Take it wide. Sri Lanka's defense up to it. One on one situation. Drift defense from Sri Lanka. Got the numbers across. But the Philippines still with possession. Going back into traffic, screaming and shouting the audience because they know how much time is left on this clock. Philippines, Saunders looking to try and thread his way through there. No way through there. Sri Lanka's defense, good. Ball still available. Ruck ball for the Philippines. Let's deputizers. Big long cutout pass. Gets away from the number one tackler. Into touch from Dunn. This is desperate stuff from Sri Lanka, protecting their line. I think there is a, a clear concept of how much time is left on that clock. They need to get this right. There's Dunn playing at number 11 for Sri Lanka. The Philippines just throwing the ball, hoping for something to come right for themselves. No part of a cohesive plan as such. Just hoping that something good will happen. Sri Lanka must get the line out right because they have one, one forward short. That, uh, that won't stop them from having the line. We also did Rajapaksa, skip all the interest warriors. Yes, that's part of your franchise, mate. Thank you very much for reminding us, Changa. Very kind of you. Yoshida they're doing some good, hard work. Excellent work rate from these boys. All of the forwards, really. Outstanding stuff. Oh, not the best line out so far, but uh, rescued. Cleaned up a little bit for Sri Lanka. Viratna, Hetty Arachi, outside is 22. Not too much of a choice, really. Let's, very clever, knows exactly where he was going to put that ball. Look behind the Sri Lanka defensive line. Emori thinks about a quick line out, which Sri Lanka have not utilized. They need to have been a little bit sharper with those balls that are uh, going to touch. I think a lot of teams, uh, Chang'an, need to look at that fact that it's such an advantage if you can get it restarted so quickly and you've got the people wide to be able to do the running back and to counter-attack. It, it's, a, it's a one, I, I personally feel it's the absolute perfect chance to counter-attack. Absolutely right, Chang'an. I don't think Sri Lanka would have like to use it right now with one man short. No, I agree. And perhaps if they haven't spent the time uh, working that out in practice, Is uh, Viratna with the big up and under. Oh, pressure! The Philippines under pressure. Excellent chases. Emori doing the good work. Keel up there as a as a twin battering ram for Sri Lanka. Outstanding stuff. Outstanding, as you as you always used to say. Sri Lanka has got out of jail, and the clock is ticking. They are in the mid midfield. Rather, is better position rather than being right. Well, near the goal line with the Philippines stepping that goal line. Well, Changa, mate, I was in the Philippines when Sri Lanka played Philippines in Manila, and it was a similar score line, and it was the other way around. So uh, <laughs> it's just one of those things in rugby that you're going to try and remember. I ho I'm hoping that the Sri Lanka players remember all that and still manage a little bit of energy 
summon up as much reserve as they possibly can. Here's Bilal Hassan. Needs to try and gain it. Gets over the gain line. Neatly done by him. Does his job to perfection. Holding on the deck, I think. Oh dear, oh dear. Check out hard, hard days. Hard days here. He was solely on the deck. He should have offloaded, but he couldn't do that. And Philippines back into the same position, but they have the line out throw. They have the line out. They dictate the numbers. Well, everything down on the referee's clock. Each player understands how much he's got. How much heart for Sri Lanka has the player? I just want to ask you a question, Sean. Is this Nama's last game for Sri Lanka, last game of rugby? Well, yes, he had said so. I would like to think it won't be because he's uh, given such a decent account of himself, shown what qualities he has. As Dushanta Luke now comes on, Bilal Hassan takes a bow. He's done all the grind work. He really has uh, led that side. Namal has indicated that he was going to play this last international. I would think if we can uh, get a W here that he'd have a rethink about that because uh, Sri Lanka needs uh, good leadership. But then, of course, it also comes down to the player and how much motivation has he got. So let's see. That's something uh, for a debate later. Right now, Sri Lanka have a task of holding the Philippines away from their line and try to get this W and hold themselves up with a better chance going into Division 1 for the Asian Five Nations next year. On top of the list. Yes. Big pressure from that defence line. Good to see the uh, the tackle up quickly. Philippines a little shell-shocked. Looking for their numbers. Trying to go out wide. Set move. Oh! Sri Lanka. Here's Danushka Ranjan. Oh, sorry, Goethe. This is Danushka Pereira. I'm getting my Danushkas around my neck. I do apologize. <laughs> you got the other one, other name, right? It doesn't matter as we see a, a scrum and we're almost on the clock where the on the clock where we are concerned, but I'm sure it, what matters is what, what the referee has in his uh, watch as we see uh Rohit Raja Paksa taking the field. Yes. There's uh, young Rajapaksa on now. The crowd go wild because they know what needs to be done. Sri Lanka need to just be very strong in this scrum. Try and uh, get the ball as wide as possible. Don't give the Philippines any chance of getting this ball into their hand. Referee says, stop the clock. It's 81 minutes, 18, 20 seconds. Well, we are concerned, but that doesn't matter. Yes, for all of you at home, if you're just counting and being uh, statistically wise, don't go with it because the clock on our screens is not the referee's clock. Anywhere on the park, anywhere on the park, it doesn't matter. The clock around, the, what matters is the man in the center with the whistle. What does his clock say? That's what matters. There you go. The substitution on the park, Rajfaksa for Rajfaksa. In the meantime, the pressure in the middle, this scrum, such a critical scrum. The Philippines drive for all they're worth. Where is this ball? Sri Lanka looking to try and secure this ball. They've got it. Viratna just delaying as much as he can. Fazil Maja, little chip over the top. Will he collect it cleanly? The Philippines hold on to it. Let's is there. The ball squeezes out. That's it, a penalty for Sri Lanka for holding on. Skipper Raja Baksa there very quickly with the referee. Referee indicates Sri Lanka going for the post. Suck in as much time as you can. Shy all depends on the. I would have checked the time with the referee to find out how many minutes. Is this the last move? Or they're going into touch in the corner rather than the three points. Well, Skipper Raja Baksa is having a word with the referee, just doing exactly that. Just making sure that uh, this is the last move. If it is, fair call. If it isn't, it all depends on the time, the balance remaining time. And there has been a few stoppages as well for the blood injuries, the injury to uh, Danish Karanjan. So, so that uh, will add on. So those of you watching with us on CSN Live, thank you very much for the company. Take a deep breath. See if you can will Sri Lanka to pick this W up as Hetty Arachi lines it up. Yes! yes it is. Sri Lanka 
three more in front, three more to the total. He's elated, punches the air. He's done his job to perfection so far. Got his kicking boots on. Asian Rugby Football Union, Asian Five Nations Championship. There's a little bit of cheering going on. Sri Lanka 25, Philippines 19. A little bit of uh, time back for Sri Lanka from what happened in the Philippines. Referee. Watch out, I'm just going to pop out because time on the clock. Sri Lanka very focused. Each player saying, come on, you know exactly what you have to do. Let's finish this on top. In the meantime, I'm going to say thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the commentary. I'm going to hand you to Mahesh and SW to talk you through and enjoy what has been a splendid A5 Nations encounter. Thank you, Sean. As you see a scrum, it's, it's a wheel. It's a deliberate wheel. The Philippines have the uh, penalty, the long arm. What will they do? They might go to the corner. It does depend on the time factor. Six points gap, uh, Sri Lanka is leading, but uh, uh, this is the time that we have to be really, really careful, uh, Chang, because uh, if they score now, and uh, Sri Lanka will not have enough time to uh, run down in the park. As long as they score and convert it, uh, Mahesh, they'll be in front. Uh, so it's a line out, a crucial line out. I'm sure the clock must be there ticking. One by the Philippines to the half back, a loose ball. Taking it up, they're driving the ball up. The ball emerges a uh, very low ruck. Good defense by Sri Lanka. The ball is in the hands of the ball cannons. Number four takes it in right on the deck. He pushes the ball into the deck. It gives a quick uh, distribution. Let's to Alexander Arsen. Jake Letts, Justin Conway, Kaweni, my apologies, half back to the flag forward, lock forward, Stephen Howard. Sri Lanka defends very well, ball knocks on, but referee uh, tells otherwise, uh, for an earlier infringement he has been playing advantage and offers the penalty to the Volcanoes, to the Philippines. Ball in hand. The intentions are very clear. They want to keep the ball in hand and run with it. And goes into touch. Here's the line out for the Volcanoes. And this would probably be the last uh, moment, but uh, as uh, our senior commentators uh, stated that uh, we, we still don't know as to what uh, the referee's clock says, because there had been few stoppages. And at the end of the day, it's the referee who decides uh, when to uh, blow the long whistle. Very interesting. If you see the screen, we got 86 minutes and 34 seconds gone. But what matters is the man in the center, as I said earlier, as we see the tired legs, the cramps are coming in. The magical lies, the magical spray, as we see. Joseph Dunn getting the treatment. It's a line out. Might be the last line out. Joseph, Everybody waiting for it. Joseph Dunn back in action and uh, Senior Rajapaksha with uh, the ball in hand to execute his duty. He has a throwing in spread. So that's uh, the throwing in for the Philippines. They want to make it perfect. They want to make the perfect throw. They probably, don't want the ball to slip. Probably this could be the last chance for the Philippines. Adikoy had the line out at number four. Not rather a good one, but the ball is in their hands. Saunders takes it. Knock on. Sri Lanka, the ball in hand. Yes, he runs. Yes, a good one. Good delivery. Done. Still done. It's still going. Offload comes in. Rama Rajapaksa, all over the place, keeper. Ball pops up, the penalty, referee says, uh, coming from sides. Philippines, not given up. This is a little worrisome. The last few seconds in the game before the long whistle. 
we have to be mindful and watchful. What's happening there? Darren Sito looking for the cap. Keeping the ball alight. They must keep it alive. Offload. Still going. Keeping position with them. Hityarachi. Hityarachi recovers. Ball is in uh, Sri Lankan's hand. Turnover. Spells danger here for Sri Lanka. This is a danger. This is a danger. Sri Lanka needs to be more mindful about the defense. Fortunately, they could catch him before he entered the 22 meter. It's referring advantage. Numbers on the outside. Look at that. So number 14. Allgate drops the ball. But the referee uh, thinks otherwise. Uh, he gives the. Uh, the advantage of the continuity of the advantage play and it's a penalty quite closer to the post they decide to take a quick tap and uh, run through once again a penalty advantage play is in progress oh what happened a try referee signals out that it's a try but there was a sudden pop up of the ball as well so after the, uh, the grounding after the grounding This is uh, not to the liking of uh, many Sri Lankans who are watching from home on CSN. The last few seconds, uh, it is always said that that is the most difficult part in any game, Shang. The last Ab few seconds. Absolutely. They should have kept position there, got into their half. It's all done and dusted now. The visitors have come in strongly. That's 24 points to 25 with the conversion to come. And uh, it's, it's dead straight. unfortunate situation on the part of the Sri Lankans uh, uh, since uh, the Volcanoes have uh, now scored so they increase their points to 24 and the conversion uh, will uh, change the story that was in favor of Sri Lanka so far Darren Sito. Darren Sito takes uh, the responsibility to send the ball through. Two oh. points uh, is what matters for him. Oh, it didn't go. It didn't go. Sri Lankans have been really lucky and fortunate. Who missed the conversion. Could you believe this? 24-25 Sri Lanka win. This is something that could not be expected from a uh, from a player of uh, Seto's caliber, and he would have never thought in his uh, in his builder's dream that he would not be able to put it over. No, they're going to have a re-kick. They're having a re-kick on that. Oh, referee says it's a re-kick. What what happened? Is was uh, it early it's, it's in Al Alexander Arson? It's not Seto. It's Alexander Arson. It Aronson, a, Aronson. It, it was a re-kick for, for charging before before the kicker started. I'm interested to see a replay on that. I know a lot of fingers are crossed. And uh, the re-kick uh, is uh, not at all in favor of Sri Lankans. Surely he should be making this. It's an easy, simple one. Second bite of the cherry. 24 points to 25 uh, so far. Within few seconds, we will uh, see the fate of this game. It went over. And uh, the final whistle. It it's all gone, the Philippines in front with 26 points to 25. 
unbelievable how this could happen very unfortunate and unbelievable situation it was a matter of just a half a minute uh, chang that changed the whole story sri lanka had been playing really well uh, during the first half and also the second half uh, uh, even though there were a few uh, unnecessary infringements uh, on the part of the sri lankan team but the tuskers did not uh, did not uh, live up to expectation in the last minute and uh, that brought this uh, so uh, the untimely end or rather the the de defeat to the tuskers Absolutely, look at that. That's the one which went over. We would like to have a replay again of that where the, the charge was made early, but it doesn't matter. And Rifty was very stern there. He was confident enough to recall or rather award a re-kick Chang. The, the law is very clear, which it says if you offer to kick, once you offer to kick, the players can charge it. But here I, f I have a feeling that Sri Lankans uh, took off a little early as per the uh, visuals that we get here. It all depends on whether it's, it's, it's whether 